innovation is really one of the key drivers of corporate success in the years to come. Why? Very simple, because the last five years, corporations have been focusing on cutting costs out of the supply side. Now they have to turn to the demand side, and their innovation is the biggest factor and the key driver. This brings us to the second phase of innovation. You have to play to innovate and create, but you got to have times when your mind goes into what we call a free drive, right? When you're not thinking consciously about the problem. Your mind is most creative precisely at those times when you do not realize it, when you're not working on the problem. If you're too rigid, you will stifle that creative process and it will not happen. And this can be applied to any company, any business, any team effort, anywhere around the world, in any circumstance. It's always the same principles. And then you've got great outcomes. The same is true for any business, any startup, any creative undertaking, any group project, if you're two people, three or five thousand. If you design a product or service in the same way, you have to be able to convey the vision of what you stand for as a business, as a brand, as a corporation, to an audience, to your customer base. Only if you're able to truly convey that vision effectively and, I would add, with passion, you're able to truly <coughs> engage the consumer. In short, it means that you have to build a better company in order to ensure its long-term success. If you don't do that, your employees will root you out over time and ultimately your customers as well. You cannot pretend anymore to care. You really have to care. And then incorporate this into what I call the internal corporate code, which is for me an inner understanding of the corporate's DNA. Passion gets the job done. That fire in your eyes, that passion will get other people to commit to your cause.